How's it going everyone? JKXJX here, back on Forza Horizon 4, finally, once again. We're finally back with uploading. I've had just such a busy few weeks, and I'm sure most of you know the updates in Horizon 4 have been a bit un well, not unorganised, but all over the place recently. You know, getting announced at different times, being revealed at different times, that's basically the same thing. You know what I mean, they've been all over the place, so my uploads haven't been as planned, if that makes sense. But we're back on it now, I've got a lot to talk about this video, which is good. And the first thing I'm sure you've noticed is I've had a bit of a move around in my room. This probably isn't the final product, but I still want my face cam to have the cardboard cutouts in it. And it still looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think of the new sort of layout, it might change a little bit. But anyway, we've got a lot to talk about in today's video, let me just touch that on it quickly. So we're talking about update 29 in Forza Horizon 4, I'm sure most of you know about that anyway, but there's a few specific things I want to touch on, which not many people have talked about. And then as we're coming towards the end of the year, I want to talk about future Forza Horizon 4 updates, which I also have a little bit of information on. This is as well as sort of third expansion theories as well. Now anyway, this video is coming out on Sunday and we still have one week of update 28 left. This Thursday is when it begins and next Thursday towards the middle slash end of November is when update 29 will begin. In fact, update 29 will begin on the 19th of November, so still a little bit of a while away, but we already know what new cars are coming. I'm going to very quickly touch on those now. You probably already know, so that's why it's going to be very quick. So on the 19th of November, summer will begin for update 29 and we'll have access to the new car, which is the Porsche 911, the one that's reimagined by Singer as you can see on screen. A very specific 911, but looks very cool. That'll be available at 50% on the 19th until the 26th. And then in autumn, which begins on the 26th and ends on the 3rd of December, so quite a while away, and we'll get another new car, which is the BMW 850 CSI, as you can see on screen. And then in winter, there isn't actually a new car. However, in spring, which begins on the 10th of December, the day before my birthday, which seems like quite a while away, but on the 10th of December, spring begins. That's the end of update 29. So by then, we'll know about update 30. We'll get another new car, which is the 1987 Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer Coupe. So three new cars in update 29. I'm sure you've heard about them already, but those are the dates they are coming out. Now, there's also other stuff about Update 29 which I want to talk about, which is probably what you'll find the most interesting. Now, the reason Update 29 was sort of announced and shown early is because of the Xbox Series X, which is releasing in a few days from now. Mine's already been shipped. I can't wait to receive it on release date on Tuesday. But essentially, Update 29 received a bunch of Series X enhancements. I'm going to talk about those enhancements specifically now. Now I'm not going to show you these enhancements because I, I bet a lot of you can relate. It's quite hard to notice the differences on a YouTube video because if you're like me, I don't watch YouTube in 4K. I don't even watch it on my computer. I just watch it on my phone. Forza Horizon 4 has been en enhanced to make the most of Xbox Series X and they have dramatically improved the graphics and the, the shadows and the car details within Forza Horizon 4. You may remember, I'll try to show you this on screen if I can. You may remember back in the dev build of Horizon 3. Now I don't like talking about this because the devs hate me for it, but back in the dev build of Horizon 3, you used to be able to change the graphics of the car to be extremely detailed. I'll have a picture on screen right now of it happening um, if I can find it, but essentially you used to sort of activate something and it used to dramatically show you the engine bay and it just increased the details by a huge amount. And the Xbox Series X may not do this specifically, but the, the detail on the cars on the Xbox Series X for Ultra Horizon 4 is going to be incredible. You can see on screen how different it used to be when you turned on this feature. Now the Xbox Series X has enough power to have so much detail of the cars. You may not be able, you're not going to be able to see the engine bay obviously because the bonnet's closed, but for rear engine cars maybe, and just the detail of the cars is going to be incredible, but not just on the car that you're driving, on every single car that's on the track. Obviously there's mo obviously there's other stuff as well. The shadows are more deep and enhanced. The colors are better. The, I mean, everything's just gonna be more detailed in general. Now, another thing that's been enhanced, stuttering. Why am I stuttering so much recently? 
enhanced with the Xbox Series X is the loading times. The loading times in Horizon 4 are insane. Credit to Joe for this on Twitter, we all know who he is. I'm going to show you his clip right now of him comparing the loading screens from the Xbox One X, so not the Xbox One, the Xbox One X, to the Xbox Series X, and it's, it's pretty mind-blowing. Take a look at this. So as you can see, it's just miles better. It is miles faster, and I cannot wait to uh, to get that in a few days. So the game's just going to be so much faster and so much better, to be honest. Now let me touch on future updates. Now this is where things get a bit interesting. Now, none of this is confirmed. It's just all my personal opinion and from what we've heard. On the update 29 reveal at live stream, the usual guys were on there, and one of them was Mike Brown, the creative director for Playground Games, and he just gave us a few little sentences, I would say, about the future updates this year. Now, I'm going to leave on screen what he said right now. And, and the question I'm sure is on everyone's minds, mine in particular, does this mean we're coming to the end of the series updates? Yeah, this was actually the last update. So oh. yeah, it's, uh, good <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I joke. Of course, I joke. Um, yeah, so Imagine. we, of course not. We are. We have a continued commitment to Horizon Four. We've got loads more really, really exciting updates. Some of them are still to come before the end of this year, um, and they are. I, I'm really excited about them, and I can't wait to share more. So there you go. We had a bit of a joke at the beginning, saying there's no more updates coming. But I don't know, if they continue the way they do it, we should only be getting one more update this year, and that's update 30. Now, update 30 may be a big update because, well, it's update 30. And Mike said that there's actually several updates coming. There's quite a few big things we're getting this year. Or not big things, but you know, you saw how he worded it. But yeah, update 30 in a few weeks from now, we'll probably hear about it, could be a big one. We could be getting some exciting things. The way he's worded it says that we're actually getting some new features rather than just some new cars. I would expect some new features to join the game very soon. Now, as for third expansion, I see people talking about this loads and... Oh, my webcam just moved again. Why does it keep moving? Shh. Stupid thing. Oh, for some reason my webcam moves when I bang my desk. Look, you ready? But yeah, third expansion, everybody talks about this loads and we just, we don't have any more information on it really. Nobody knows if we're getting a third expansion. Nobody knows what it is if we are getting one. Nobody really knows when we'll get it. <clears throat> but here are my thoughts on it. It's been a while since we've had any kind of huge update in Horizon 4. We had the first expansion, we have the second expansion, then we had the Eliminator. Now, I do think it's very possible for us to get a third expansion of some sort, or at least a huge update like the Eliminator was. I do think it's possible. When that would be, I don't know. Unfortunately, the range of when it could be has increased. Now we know how long it's going to be until we get Forza Motorsport 8, or Forza Motorsport, which is going to be next year. It may not be until 2022 that we get Horizon 5. It may come out next year at the same time as Motorsport, but it's going to be a while, which is why I personally think that a third expansion is likely at some point. It's not guaranteed. It's not confirmed, but my opinion is we could be getting one. Now, when that would be, I don't know. Could be within the next couple of months. Could be the end of 2021. We'll just have to wait and see. I think that's most things I wanted to touch on in today's video. It's all just opinions and stuff like that. I will have another video at some point talking about like the leaked car list and where we're at with that, because from that we can make pretty good predictions about the next cars we're getting. Just wait for that video. But it's quite obvious we've got many more updates to come. We don't know what they'll be. We know about Update 29. We know the game's going to be so much better with Update Series X. Full Horizon 4 videos are back. 
plenty more content to come and obviously we're live streaming next week for spring the end of update 28 so keep an eye out for that on thursday but anyway guys leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more thoughts rising for content i'll see you all later